I wanted to take a moment to talk about the ellipse tool. It's over here in your toolbar. You can also use a quick key L on your keyboard. I wanted to show you how to trace a circle. So you can just freeform draw a circle already with, uh, with the ellipse tool. You just click and drag and let go. That creates an ellipse. You can create perfect circles with the ellipse tool if you hold shift with one finger while you're clicking and dragging as well. Oops. Uh, you just click and drag and then if you hold if you go and add shift, remember it's kind of like playing the piano, add shift and it will uh, maintain a perfect ratio of a, of a circle with the ellipse tool instead of just it kind of drifting into an oval at times. So you know for sure it's a circle if it has those that pink crosshair on it. Another thing you can do with the ellipse tool as you click and drag is you can add uh, option to your, to your selection and it's hard to tell what it's doing uh, here when I do it, but if I start from the very beginning holding option, I think you'll be able to tell what that does. What it does is it allows the circle to rise from the center, to expand from the center, instead of from, uh, say, the top left to the bottom right as I move. So, uh, I'm showing you all this because what I need you to do is uh, trace this circle up here for um, one of your upcoming assignments and it's kind of hard to do because if you just sort of click and drag it's kind of too small and then I guess you could maybe move it and try to resize it a little bit back and forth and kind of push it around it's kind of hard to see I'll change the uh, stroke color really fast there so now now I can see it but how much kind of uh, fussing with it should I do until I arrive at the right size? So uh, I just wanted to give you some tips on how to trace a circle. This uh, this this blue line is annoying me. It's because this uh, screenshot, this JPEG that I've dropped in here, isn't um, uh, it's not locked in my layers to, uh, tab. So let me go and do that. Uh, my layers tab is missing. Hey, if this ever happens. Everything you could ever need is up in here in the window tab, and you can click and add. You, you also come here if your toolbox on the left-hand side ever disappears. Your toolbar, your toolbar is hidden here. Get the advanced toolbar. Um, but my layers window is missing, so I think what I can do is I can just come here and push layers. And oh, here it is. Here's my layers. And if I really like it um, up here, I can just come and put it back up on this side. So there we go. I've got it back now. Uh, okay, I want that locked, so it'll quit doing that. And I want a new layer to work in with my ellipse tool L. And okay, so how to draw this circle perfectly and get the right size of it. I could start from the very center and hold Option and Shift and then click and drag. The main difficulty with this is it's really hard to start right in the center just by eyeballing it. I can get pretty close and then uh, let's just let go of that and then maybe just scoot it over. You can um, you can just move objects almost like pixel by pixel sort of. It's not technically a pixel because Adobe Illustrator doesn't work with pixels but uh, just using the arrow keys on your keypad you can move it in tiny little increments and that's actually pretty close to the right size. Another option would be which I, I think is maybe even more accurate um, I could come to the very peak of it up here with the line tool. The line tool is a backslash on your quick keys on your keyboard. The line segment tool, it's right here. You can click the line tool and come over here and click at the very top point of the ellipse and then move left. Hold shift so that it locks and is moving perfectly horizontally and just kind of extend it this way a little bit. And then you can come to the left side of the circle the furthest left side point you can find and click and drag upward and hold shift so that it's perfectly vertical as you move up. And now this gives us a starting point for our ellipse uh, if I'm not using that option function where it rises from the center. So now I'll go back to the ellipse tool L and I'll come where it says intersect. You see how it's, uh, it's glowing saying intersect right here. I can click right there and now move 
and hold shift to make sure it's a perfect circle. And as I move across this, it should end up almost perfectly the right size. You see that? See how we arrived right where we needed to? I'm going to do that one more time. So I've got, uh, let's, I can just move over to this other one as an, as an example. So I'm going to get the line segment tool. I'm going to come to the very top of this circle and move sideways. I'll move to the right this time. And I'm holding shift while I'm dragging that line so that it's perfectly horizontal. Then I'm going to come to the rightmost side of this circle and then move upward. And I'm going to hold, oh, looks like I kind of missed. Let's try again. Come to the rightmost side of the circle, move perfectly upward holding shift so that it's a nice vertical. And the place those two lines cross is the place I want to start my ellipse. So you can see it's glowing and says intersect. That means I'm right where those two lines are crossing. Sorry, there's a train in the distance. Okay, I'm going to click here and pull this way. And then I'm going to, I'm, I'm currently clicking with my left index finger. I am moving and dragging with my right index finger. And now I'm about to add shift to this hand combination with my left pinky, like playing the piano, like we've talked about before. OK, so now I'm continuing to expand the circle using my right hand while my left hand stays stationary. My left hand has a pinky on shift, and my left hand has an index finger clicking on the bottom of my uh, trackpad. OK, and look, as I expand it, as I, as I come and arrive right here at the size of the circle, I can get it just just right and that's that's a really helpful way I think to uh, trace a circle from an image or an object and do it really really accurately okay uh, I think there's only one other thing I wanted to show you with uh, ellipses and that would be if you have the tool and you simply click it will open up an ellipse menu like the rectangle menu opened up in a previous exercise and you can just type what size you'd like the ellipse to be so it can be two inches tall by two inches tall and you can just push OK and it will make uh, an ellipse. So that's not particularly helpful for tracing but I just wanted you to know that one more thing. Alright that should help you with some circle building uh, as you will need those for tracing some images in Adobe Illustrator.